Melissa here, and it's the big day of our little daughter Bunny's second birthday. It's her actual birthday, and we are doing an at-home, very simple, small birthday party, but I shouldn't say it's simple. I've gone out of my way to do an at-home birthday party that's a tea party theme, so I'm in my little tea party suit, and we've set up the house, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you what we've done so far, what we're serving, and what the kids will be doing. The party today is featuring all kinds of finger foods, including tomato cups, which you see all the time in our lunch boxes. And I'm still getting some stuff set up, but I'm gonna talk you through the plan, the menu, everything is like kosher style, no meat, but we have fish, eggs, I have gluten-free dishes. We have a vegetarian coming. So there's a lot of variety of the foods and also kid-friendly foods. So I thought it would be worthwhile to go through that and I'll take you all around from here. I'll show you the setup in the dining room. Okay. If it's not set up yet, it's gonna be set up soon. And basically, I normally like to use the items that I have but I did treat myself to a few paper goods to make it special. I really love the Kaspari brand paper goods and they have these paper tablecloths that coordinate with any color you need. So we're using our green jadeite dishes and our cake stands, but then these little flowery things I added in and it's, you know, you don't need to buy flowers then. So that's a lot of fun. We're having crudite veggies. I can really spend a lot of money on vegetables. I got the purple cauliflower with hummus tomato cups, these veggie straws that everybody loves. For gluten-free people, which we have attending, I have gluten-free crackers with eggplant dip. And then the finger sandwiches are gonna be coming out, but I just sliced and diced a bunch of different types of breads. I had made in advance tuna salad and egg salad and roasted mushrooms, these wild chanterelle mushrooms that my daughter loves. I have peanut butter and jellies here that I know the children will love and locks. So I'll bring those out shortly. This station is where the kids are gonna have their lunch, but before they have their food, I wanted them to do a little fall setup of Play-Doh. So I did homemade cinnamon Play-Doh. I can list that recipe for you down below. It really smells great. And then all of these fall things that we've been gathering during the week that we spent no money, I have pine cones, magnolia tree cones. I'm gonna let the kids unpack this because it's more fun. The box of acorns and uh, oak leaves. I have a bag of very old, ancient, should not be consumed cinnamon sticks, so I'm gonna let the kids play with those. And I also got out just a few things from my Play-Doh set, letters and number stamps, rolling pins, and jewels, and a few cookie cutters. The other thing that I've done is I got out the hat boxes so that anyone who comes in their fancy tea party outfit can grab a hat. I have a pretty big assortment of old lady hats, which even the boys love. And all of these old lady hats, including a great green parrot one and flowery ones. Just a prop set up for a tea party that I thought you should know about. I have our old school CD player here. I can pop children's CDs in that and that kind of keeps the mood lively. And I keep a box of scarves, a tissue box full of, again, old lady stuff. So I have all kinds of silk scarves here that they can use for like dancing or freeze dance. Over here, we baked pumpkin bread with one dented can of pumpkin. I have one loaf sliced some marshmallows that we picked up with a credit at Williams Sonoma. Those are not kosher. A fruit platter. The kids are on their way with the grandparents. They've picked up the cake at the bakery and some little mini fruit tarts that I am not making. And then I'm gonna take you back in the kitchen for my last activity that I'm sharing and party favors, come with me. So I also wanted to make the kids work for their food. So I've proofed overnight or left out overnight a package of mini croissants from Trader Joe's. My mother cleaned out her freezer and they came to me so I didn't even have to buy them. I'm gonna preheat the oven and let the kids put these in right away when they arrive. And then I picked up at Costco this giant heavy whipping cream. We're gonna pour it into my butter churn, which you could find at an antique store or something. It's really fun. The kids love a crank, like cranking ice cream. So they're gonna make their butter. And in the fridge, I have the crab apple jelly that we made earlier this week from our own crab apples. So that is their little sweet tea treat. I have lemonade concentrate that I made in the summer. I did a video about this where I was putting away stuff for later. I made 
lemon juice with sugar water and froze it and then I thawed it. We're gonna have lemonade for the kids today. I am boiling a huge quantity of water for tea for the adults. People can choose their tea and pour their hot water. I have coffee, I have milk, and I have party favors. The party favors are really fun. We love doing tea with our kids, like decaf tea. So we use mint leaves or dried flowers that are for tea. And these tea balls are fun because the kids can unscrew and rescrew them. It's almost like a toy in itself. And I actually was able to order a six pack of these. Each child will get a tea ball, several honey sticks, a little cute snack, a little chocolate cracker snack and they'll get a bunch of mint to take home so they can do a tea party later today or tomorrow if they wanna continue the fun. We'll give you some shots of all of these things set up, but before people arrived, I wanted to have a moment to explain our plans. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe a possible future tea party for your child's birthday or a special occasion. Bye-bye.